Hello, happy Monday. I am here today to talk to you about PTSD and the struggles that people have with PTSD and what might be hidden experiences of PTSD that you might not know about. Uh, my name is Dr. Shiroko Sokic. I'm the owner of Heart to Heart Medical Center and the author of the book, Healing When It Seems Impossible, Seven Keys to Defy the Odds. And, you know, one of the reasons that I wrote this book is that so many people struggle with symptoms that are mysterious or undiagnosed. And PTSD is one of the things that can cause people to have symptoms that maybe they don't understand. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about A, what PTSD is, and B, some possible supportive solutions. And before I start, I wanted to point out these flowers that I... Uh, picked for my garden for you today. So um, I love roses and uh, they always smell so nice. I especially pick roses that smell good. So that is one of the things that can be used to help people who are struggling is to enjoy nature and to go out and visit flowers or to enjoy flowers and the scents. Uh, scent, smell of flowers can also help soothe your spirit if you are struggling and, and maybe don't know what to do for yourself. One thing that you could do is go smell some beautiful roses or, or enjoy not just nature but the scent of nature because the, the nose is a really great way to connect to healing for yourself. So PTSD is post-traumatic stress syndrome. And it is, it can be caused by so many things. And you know, most commonly we talk about very obviously traumatic events that people have, you know, like people who have been in a war or people who have witnessed somebody suicide or had a family member who suicide or a major life trauma like a car accident or something really big that you can notice. But there are other ways of experiencing PTSD that you might not be aware of, you know, like childhood events that are like a chronic experience of traumatic experiences as a child can leave you with PTSD as an adult. And, uh, and so there are many ways to have PTSD and I especially want to draw on that because a lot of people think that maybe their trauma isn't enough to cause them to have something like PTSD and that isn't necessarily true. You know, recently, five years ago actually now, um, there were some huge fires where my office is in Santa Rosa, California. And we had 3,000 homes burned down and people had to escape their homes in the middle of the night. And so I'm talking to you, if you are one of those people especially, or anybody who has been in a large uh, experience of environmental trauma. Um, because, you know, at first, like all these people had to figure out a way to survive. And so initially when something happens, you're in survival mode and you have to just do, do, do in order to set yourself up and to deal with the trauma. But then later, maybe even several years later, you have the trauma experience and you might feel like you might experience flashbacks. So here are some of the symptoms you might experience flashbacks. You might be irritable and easily agitated because you're having experiences of flashbacks that you don't know about. There might be fatigue. Um, there is a thing that I think is really important to understand and that is this kind of freeze state where literally you kind of become sort of deadened where your emotions don't really, you don't really experience emotions and you might like sit and watch TV for hours at a time or you might uh, like want to shut off from everything around you and not have a lot of stimulus because your system, your nervous system just can't handle the stimulus. And these are all symptoms of, of PTSD. You can also have physical symptoms, like if you get heart palpitations or chest pains or digestive issues like, or neck pain, like PTSD can come with so many different things. And so just recognizing that it's possible that, you, that your symptoms are connected to a trauma that you experienced in the past or recently or long ago, that these things can contribute to how you're feeling. 
and then to figure out a way to, to heal. And so when people come to see me, one of the things that I do is I spend a good hour with you on the initial visit and I ask a lot of questions and a lot of my questions are past, like what has happened to you in your life? When this symptom started, where were you in your life? You know, what has been going on in your life that may contribute to how you're feeling now? And I've also, over time, developed a series of acupuncture treatments that help reduce PTSD and actually help remove it from your cellular memory. And the thing about PTSD is you may have had many, many different treatments, you know, like you may have had uh, acupuncture or chiropractic or EMDR. EMDR is this movement of your eyes that can help access the traumatic memories and help you create safety. There are people now who have special PTSD trauma programs and I think some of them are really fabulous. Um, I can name some of them for you in, in the chat later. Um, and there, so there's a lot of awareness now about trauma and the things that can cause trauma in your life. And, the, and what symptoms you might have as a result of trauma. And in fact, I think, you know, in hindsight, uh, most people have had some kind of trauma that contributes to how they are experiencing their world today. So um, I'm gonna give you today some little self-help that you can do for yourself in order to help um, release some of the emotions connected to trauma um, just very simple little acu self acupressure treatments that you can do. And so um, one of them is uh, like massaging the top of your head. Now it's ideal if you can find places in your head that are tender, you know, so like if you find a spot in your head that's tender, you don't have to push very hard, but if you find a spot in your head that's tender, you can just kind of put your hand there and gently love it. Um, like I have a spot up here. And a lot of people who have had head injuries will have spots on their head that are tender, especially up in here. Um, so you can you kind of work up in here. There's a point right here that is connected to your adrenal glands, right at the, so straight up from your nose, one half inch inside the hairline, like right there, this point connects to your adrenal glands. And so you can massage that, that can help release some trauma um, through your adrenal glands and it can help support your adrenal glands. And then your ears are actually a map of your whole body. So I'm gonna show you my ear. Um, and this is your head right here. And then your spine goes up along here, okay? And then in here, this is where all the internal organs are. This is where your uh, sex organs are. So your ovaries and uterus and things like that. And there's a point right here that is for calming the spirit, right here. This is called a Shen Men, um, and it's, it could be tender. So you could massage right here that calms your spirit, um, like right here, right there. <laughs> um, so you can, that, you can massage that and it'll help calm your nervous system. And then actually massaging along the whole outer rim of your ears can help calm your nervous system because it helps correct um, imbalances in your whole body. And you don't have to push very hard. You, you can just kind of s gently squeeze along the outer edges of your ear. And, uh, and actually you can do this for children too. Like if they're struggling to fall asleep at night, you can kind of gently massage their ears like this, like this. Uh, and, um, uh, the other thing that you can do with your ears is to find points that are tender, like at certain places. So like right here, this is where your neck would start. This point, well, it's easier for me to show you this side. Um, so right here, this is where your brain is. So again, you can massage here and it will help release some things from your nervous system. Just kind of gently press and release gently right uh, right here where this little notch is and then right there that's the neck and you can work this area to just kind of gently release your neck and then along your spine right along that way and again this point right here where there's like a little v 
<laughs> a little V right here. That's called Shan Men. That helps release your nervous system, calm your nervous system. And actually, you know, I don't have a pencil here at my desk. Hold on, maybe I do. Um, well, I have a paintbrush. <laughs> so you could even do something like this where you can gently take like a paintbrush and put, put it right here or a pencil and just kind of gently press right there where that point is. If you know an acupuncturist, um, we have beads, little, little beads that we can put on your ears to help you kind of find the right points um, to press on. And then that will help reduce some of that tension in your body. And then right here, this point is called the Valium point. It's like where the ear meets the head, right where this uh, is part of the nervous system, right there, that's called the Valium point. And you can press on that and it'll calm your nervous system. So there's lots of ways to do things and PTSD is a complicated system of issues, you know. So obviously there are many, many things. Like over time, if you've had PTSD, it will affect your hormones. It will affect your brain chemistry. It will affect your thyroid. It will affect your digestion because even Traumatic stress can affect your digestion and cause things like irritable bowel syndrome or, or gut issues. Uh, so it's not a simple problem to solve. And ideally, you would work with somebody who will help you on many levels, like a multi-system approach to help you heal from the PTSD. And uh, one of those things could be acupuncture. But if you're struggling with anxiety and recurrent flashbacks and things like that, this is one of the things that you could do is massage your ear, touch your forehead, find points that are tender in your scalp and massage them gently. And that will help your nervous system begin to re sort of re-educate itself, to refunction. Always when you're working on helping yourself feel better, one of the things that's very helpful is to just love yourself, you know, to do these things with love. Like if you're massaging your ear, do it with self-love. Do it with, I'm going to heal myself and think about the positive aspects of your life and how you can recover from these traumas. And uh, remember that uh, PTSD is not an easy thing to fix but it can be healed and we can reach a place of positive uh feeling better sort of vibes if that is helpful and uh please let me know if you have any questions i'm here to help i have many many tools available to help you and i hope that this was a helpful amount of information thank you so much have a wonderful day